What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're gonna continue building out some of the other pages of our dental website with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're gonna to start to build out some of the other pages of our dental website with Django. But before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really, really helps the channel and I really appreciate. And check out codemy.com where I have over 40 courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, so we've got our contact page. Now we need this pricing, the service, and this about page. And let's look at our original template website tutorial sort of, you know, reference here. We can look here. The pricing page has uh, all this pricing stuff. Uh, the service page has lists of services and these icons and they do a thing. And the about page is again, this picture with these things that spin around and some tutorials or some uh, testimonials and some stuff. So we've just sort of ignored all these things up until now. Uh, this blog, maybe you wanna do it, maybe you don't. I'm not gonna do it because it's a dentist. Dentists don't have blogs usually, right? I mean, chances are your dentist isn't gonna do that. If they wanna do that, you can build this out and that's up to you, but we're just gonna skip that. In this video, we're gonna focus on the pricing, the service, and the about page. And we'll knock these out pretty quickly. So let's head over to our original template files that we unzipped way back at the beginning of this series. And we could just see, here's the about page. Here is the, uh, let's see, pricing page. And here's the service page. So I just held down the control button on my keyboard to highlight each of those. And then I'm gonna go over to my Windows Start menu and I'm gonna open another file explorer. And I just typed in file explorer and this thing popped up. And we just wanna to navigate to our project here. So it's in the C drive and we called it dentist site and then dentist. And then this is gonna go in our website directory and our templates folder where we have our contact, our home, and our base.html that we looked at in the last video. And we could just come back over here and right click, copy, or you could just drag and drop. I'm just gonna copy and paste, and boom, now those pages are there. So now let's head back over to Sublime and let's close some of this stuff. It's getting a little, a little crowded. So now we can go to our website directory and our templates folder, and now we see the about the content or the uh, pricing and the service page. So let's just knock these out one at a time. Now we're gonna wanna extend our base for each of these and get rid of a lot of this stuff. So let's just copy all of this, right? This is from our contact page that we did yesterday. So we have our reference to our extends base. We have our load static tag and we have our block title and block meta description. And then we have the basic block content of the content that's gonna be on that page itself. So I'm just gonna copy it all, highlight it, right click, copy or control C, command C, I think if you're on a Mac. And I'm just gonna to go to the about page and I'm gonna paste that in. And while we're at it, we might as well just do this for all of these pages, the pricing page and the service page as well. Then we wanna to come to the end of our contact page and grab this in block tag. We wanna put that on each of these at the bottom. So I'm just gonna, really quickly paste that in. All right, get rid of this little fine thing. Now we need to come through to each of these and get rid of the stuff that's in our base.html file. And that's the header stuff, the nav bar, and the footer stuff. So we could just really quickly kind of come through here and let's just get rid of all of this. Scroll down till you see this header end area and get rid of that. And then come down to the very bottom and same deal. We're just gonna look for the footer area. And here it is, Dento Dentist Area Start. I think, is that it? Testimonials End. What is this, the About page? Let's look at our template files really quick. No, it's further down it looks like. So, Keep looking down, single dentist area, single dentist area. All right, here it is, footer area start. So we could just get rid of all of this. Be sure not to delete your in block tag, right? All right, so save this one. Now we just wanna do that same thing for our pricing page. So here's the footer area, get rid of that. 
and then come back to the top and get rid of all of the header stuff. There's the nav, header area end, all right. So that works, save this file. And then finally do the same thing for the service page. Let's see, header area end, there we go. And then go down to the bottom again and look for the footer stuff. There it is, footer area start. Get all of this. And save this file. Okay, so now we also want to come through here at the top of each of these and change this block stuff. So for the about page, that will stay the same about Dr. Elder. And maybe I'll leave the same meta description. For the pricing, I could say, uh, I don't know, pricing for Dr. Elder. And then here I might say something like, uh, you know, uh, find our current prices for all major dental procedures. I don't know, whatever. Save it. And service uh, Dr. Elder Dental Services. And for here, we might type something like, oh, I don't know, find the current services or dental services offered by Dr. Elder, DMD, whatever. All right, so that's all squared away. Now we need URLs and views for each of these pages. So let's head over to our urls.py file and we need three new URLs. So I'm just gonna copy this guy. Actually, let's copy this one, It'll be quicker. And just one, two, three. So the first one, we want this to be about.html. And this is gonna to point to views.about. And let's name this about. The next one is gonna be pricing.html. And that will head to views.pricing. And we'll name this pricing. And this is very glamorous work, right? The last one is going to be service.html. And that will point to views.service. And we'll name this service. All right, so save this. Now finally, head over to our views.py file and let's grab our home view. And let's create three more. So one, oops, two, oops. <laughs> Three. All right, so this one will be about, and we're going to point it to about.html. This one will be pricing, and we're going to point it to pricing.html. And this one will be service, and we're going to point that to service.html. Okay, so we've got our views, we've got our URLs. Now let's head over to our base.html file and add these links to the nav bar. All right, so let's just scroll through here and find the nav bar. And first thing I'm gonna do is let's head back over here and this drop down thing, right? I don't really like this. I'm just gonna get rid of it. So it's the pages with a little carrot next to it. So that's this thing right here, it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it. So I'm gonna click this and then scroll down and see here's the closing LI tag. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of this delete it, tab this back over, and let's save this and head back over to our site and hit reload. And okay, that page thing is gone. Now we just have home about service pricing. Uh, we're also gonna get rid of this blog one because I don't want that. Again, look down here, find blog, here it is, blog. Click the LI, the closing LI tag highlights so I can just delete all of that. So if you save this and head back, Okay, so that's gone. I like that much better. All right, so now we just need to put the links for these three things. So here it is about service and pricing. So instead of a regular link, we're going to do a Django link. And that's just URL and then the name of it, which we called this one about. And I could just copy this whole thing and paste it for service. Just change this to service. And same thing here for pricing change this. Oh, we already put this one there. So that change it to pricing. Remember, we put this as home just to test uh, the thing 
couple of videos ago. So, all right, let's save this. Now, if this worked right, and this will again show the beauty of using base extends to break apart our nav bar, we, we put those three links one time. Now, hopefully, if we reload, they will work the about, service, and pricing. And notice, these sort of work. The CSS works, right? For the about, there's the images still don't work because we haven't put static tags. But all of this other stuff does work because the original CSS static tag is on our base.html file. So that's cool. All right, so now some of these things are working. The ones with images are not. So now we need to come through here and do the very glamorous work of putting static tags in. So let's go to the about page and we see one right here. Um, first, let me just make a static tag. Now, we're getting good at this. We've done this so many times. We can just go static and then it's website slash something, right? So let's copy this. And here I see the first one is right there. So we can just make this change. Copy this. Uh, let's go through here real quick and just, I'm gonna hit dot PNG and just knock these out really quickly. So 9.png, shouldn't be many of them. And find next, hopefully only two. Boom, boom. And we can copy this. And one more. No, oh, looks like more than one more. Oops, boom. Okay. All right, that's all of those. Now let's try the JPEG. Let's see if we got there's one we already did. Here's another one. So I'll just put that in there. Okay. Any more? One more, it looks like. Boom. Okay. Any more? Oh yeah, one more down here. Okay, boom, boom. And we do this. And any more? Yep, <laughs> they just keep coming. All right, hopefully this is the last one because I know this is boring. Nope, one more after that. <laughs> just keep saying one more. You should be able to do this in your sleep by now. We've already done this a bunch of times and throughout this project. And okay, that looks like all of them. So let's save this file. And this is the about.html file. So we head back over to our website and click this and boom, it looks like it's all working now. So you're gonna wanna go through and do that same thing for service and for pricing. For service, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, at least six, and then some down here. So seven, eight, nine, whatever, 10, 11, 12. So there's a, there's a few of them to do for the service page. And the pricing page looks pretty much good, but I would go through there anyway. So we can just really quickly pull it up and just see, control F. Yeah, there's one. Let me just knock that out while we're looking at it. One JPEG file. And that's all. Is there any PNG files? No PNG, so we're good there. This is the pricing page. If we save this and go back, it's pretty much done. That's just this background image right here that needed to be put in there. Other than that, that's good. So now you'll just go through the service page and add the static files for that. And we're pretty much done. So this is very cool. It's all working out here. We got our contact page, our pricing page, our service page, our about page, our home page. We can be on any of these things and then click on this thing and it'll go back. Very cool. Looks like we'll, we haven't changed this contact us link. So let's do that real quick on the home page. So go to our home and just kind of look through here. Oh, let's just search for contact. Oops, spelled it wrong. Contact. 
And let's see, here's a contact us button. Let's just right here put our Django link URL contact. Save this, head on back and hit reload. Now when we hit this, it goes to the contact page. Very cool. Get started. I don't know where we want this one to go. Maybe the contact page as well. There it is started. There it is. So again, we can go URL contact or wherever we want to send this. Save this, head back. All right, so now that goes to contact. Whatever you want. Again, just come through here and customize as, as much as you want. And okay, I think that's pretty much it for this video. So we still need to do a few things. We might want to uh, play with this book and appointment section, probably do that in the next video. But really, this is coming along. This little newsletter thing down here doesn't go anywhere. We might want to fix that. We might look at that in the next video. And um, yeah, after that, we just need to learn how to push all this up to web hosting. And we're pretty much ready to go. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, which really helps the channel out. And I really appreciate it. And check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access over 40 of my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 80,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and we'll see you in the next video.